Hello guys and welcome to another video. It's been a while since I last posted on YouTube. Today we're going to be solving the known repeating elements in array problem. It's a pretty easy problem to solve. The idea here is that we have an array of integers, right? And what we want to do is we want to find the unique element within repeating elements in that array. And then we have to return that element. So one way that we can solve this problem is to use brute force. We can check one element against every other element, but we will end up with an n squared solution. The next thing is to utilize merge sort. All right, when I say merge sort, it has to be merge sort to guarantee n log n time. All right, and bear in mind that if you go through an interval process, you would have to write your own merge sort most likely. That would bring down the algorithm to n log n. Right. So we know that a lot of the repeating elements are going to be adjacent to each other. So it makes it easier to find the unique one. The next thing is to use maps or sets. All right. So we map to sets so we can achieve a solution in 2n time, which is still n. All right. And then we have bitwise operators. And I'm talking about XOR specifically. And this is the way that I'm going to write this solution. We can get the answer in O of n time. Right. So let's go ahead and implement that. But before, let me make sure I save the file um, as a py file. So python. Um, I'm just going to call this one element. All right. All right. So what I want to do is just create some function and I haven't written this. I mean, I know how it works, but I haven't written it. So um, I won't be doing any checks to see if the list is empty or that good stuff, right? So let's see, it's probably easier to just copy the first element. So let's do a dot zero. Um, then let's create a for loop, say i in range. Um, so let's do range, let's start from one, and then we want to go all the way to the end of the list. So let's do uh, len a, okay. And then what I want to do is, I want to say uh, result, and then we're going to xor equal and you want to do a dot i all right and then you can just return the result so this tutorial isn't about bitwise operators but if you want to know more about bitwise operators leave a comment down and request for a video or if you want to find the resources online, I would I would uh, recommend the book um, Hackers Delight. All right, you can learn a lot more about bit shifting from that. All right, and um, you can create a list. So I'll just call this X A. I'm passing some values. So I'll do one, one, two, two, three. Three and four would be the unique value that we want to do at uh, print out, and then you need to pass in that um, function in, and then pass in x a as the reference, and pretty much that's it. Let's save this, and then I'm going to go ahead and use git bash here. So let me get that open and just navigate uh, to that. Uh, file so I mean I could just do uh, Python CD desktop and py and element that py mm. okay so let's do CD let's do go to the desktop and if I type that wrong Oh, I mean, it's there. Do ls uh, python element run that, and we get four for the for the unique value. All right, and we can 
test this out again. So I'll add four and add in a new value. Uh, let's do nine here and save this. And let's run it and we should get a uh, nine for that. All right. So what I'm going to do next is since we have a little bit of time, I am going to write one using um, maps. Okay. So I said I haven't created solutions for this. So um, this is going to be try and error. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new file and I'll say this is a Java file. And uh, okay, and I'll call this one elements. All right. Okay, so let's do public class elements. Next, uh, let's create a private static int. Uh, let me call this one unique. And then this should take in our array of, I'm just call this one list of values. All right, next wanna create a hash map. So it goes to the new hash map. And we need an integer for the key and integer uh, for the value. All right. And we make sure that we import that. So do uh, import java.util.hash map. Okay. So what I want to do is go through every element in the array. So it's the element, um, let's call it CH. All right, and let's go through all the elements in the list. All right. Okay. So we're going to say if uh, maps dot contains uh, key and pass in ch um, uh, then what we want to do is we want to do a map dot put uh, let's do digit I mean uh, ch um, and then do map dot get ch plus one. So we want to increment that index. All right. Um, else, uh, we can just do map dot put ch and one. So that's if we find it for the first time, we see that element for the first time. All right, so we're done with this part. So now what we can say is, um, hmm, I guess we can do this again. So we can go over ver ch in the list, right? And we're gonna say uh, if uh, map, dot contains key ch and uh, map dot get uh, ch um, that's equal equals to one because it's going to be unique um, I mean we could just go ahead here and just return um, ch so that should be the number that we want or what we can do here to make it a little cleaner we can keep track of a result variable here and make that zero All right so just in case we don't find it we just it's just going to return zero or some let's make this a negative number um so let's make this uh, integer dot min 
underscore value. All right, and then here we're going to say that the result is going to equal uh, ch. And since we find that, we don't um, we can just stop when we find it, so we can break out of it. So let's do that instead. V here, and then we could just add a break here. All right, so let's see it. We break, so that should be good. And once we're done, we can just go ahead here and return the uh, result. All right, I think that should work. Um, then we can go ahead and create main. And what I'm going to do here is uh, pretty much just copy this. All right. Save typing. And mm, do there array equals new and array. All right. And I'll just paste this stuff here and close that out. Now I can just do uh, system dot out dot print line and you're gonna pass in a unique and the array. All right, let's save this and then let's compile it. So the answer that we wanted was nine here. So let's do Java C. And I think this was elements. No, that, is it element or elements? Uh, no, let me see. I make sure that I okay. So it is element. Um, so Java C element. No, know why it's not completing it right. That Java. All right, so that ran. Do Java elements and run that, and we get nine for it. So let's switch this up a bit. Let's add in another nine, and somewhere in the middle, let's add in twenty. All right, so we should return 20. So let's compile again. And let's run it again. And we should get 20. All right, guys, this will be it for this uh, video. Uh, it was a pretty much short video, very interesting problem to solve. Um, if you guys can implement it in your own way and put the solution down in the comment section below so I can take a look at it, that would be great. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've you know been making videos. It's probably because I'm busy and I don't have enough time as I used to, like during, when, during the summer. But I will keep on making videos when I have time. See you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.